All right, we have got a storied matchup here between Snow and Locust. They're going to be doing Ryu versus Ken, apparently. So they claim. And they're going to go on some, uh, it looks like they're doing FD form of Sudaku Castle and they're going to pick their music. I How's it going? I hope it's Gal Type B. It's Gal Type B? Yeah, that's the best one, Ooh, honestly. This version? <laughs> this sounds gross, honestly. Like, it's not It's not the original. Okay, it's uh, just not the same. For the original. Oh, yeah. Uh, type, type I, I, it is. It is actually better. I like it. Type, type B's nice, though. Type B's the meme one. This yep. one. It's this one. This is the yeah. one this that goes with pumped. everything. It's it goes with everything. I know. Yeah. Oh, we have an update to the yeah, scores. We update, yeah. Let me do that real quick. Snow. So this is five hey, uh, five. hey, Matt, do you use the W in your tag? Huh? Is it S N O W or S N O? W. And low cap. So, sorry, no W? Yeah. Okay. Oh, All right. So it is S N O versus. Oh yeah. Oh, never mind. No, 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 right, I, I, I want to go back. I want to go back. Oh, Looks okay, like they're we'll starting up. The gentleman on Suza. Um. It's pretty, pretty cannon oh. fight actually. Uh, uh, oh, oh, they no. miss. They missed something colors. up. I didn't hear colors. what it was. Oh, colors. Yeah, that is important. Yeah, it's super, super important when you're trying to have a cannon fight. I was like, can I test something real quick? Oh god. Oh. Um, They're gonna test something. I, yeah, yeah, apparently. No, let me just test something. Just cause, can you stand under me when I finish my tattoo? <laughs> oh he's trying is he trying to test which way he faces? Wait. Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's good. Okay. Uh, I was okay. curious if you got a Whatever, second tattoo <laughs> if you just tried Firefly to cancel and flan on the mic right now. Firefly and fan. Flan. Brought to Firefly. Bring in, bring in you. Flanfly. The beautiful attendance we have here at SFU. Yep. Got a lot of people here. Great showing so far. But this is not about all these people. This is about Snow and this is about Locust and this is about their Street Fighter ditto. Oh, man. So let's get into this. Is Snow a, has been is using a, a lot of Ken so far. Is it a Street Fighter? It is. Though? It's just they have to play on stamina mode, I suppose. Yeah. If they did that, then it would truly be. It'd be. We'd be truly playing Street Fighter, but we'd also be kind of going against the uh, the rules here. Yeah. But here we go. We're going to game one. We're gonna. I wonder if they're gonna do the whole set on uh, Suzaku. <laughs> uh, these guys are having fun with it. Yeah, I guess the Star won't affect that, yep. as long as it's gentlemen. So honestly, I haven't really thought about how this matchup would play out because they both have like. They both have the the unique mechanic where like they they are they're consistently face their opponent in singles, yeah. uh, which can lead to some interesting interactions. It makes it harder to just like use back air a lot. Nice little string there by uh, Snow. Yeah, these guys will probably be comboing each other a lot. I'm expecting some like big focus comp callouts to get some early KOs. I haven't Snow seen uh, Snow play Ken either. So like Snow actually has been playing a lot of Ken. Like it's one of the closest things he's had to a main so far, actually. Uh, Locus. Locus, I know, is feeling a little iffy about uh, about Ryu, but gets a confirm there. There you go. Yep. yep. Class, Takes the first stock. Classic Locus right there. But yeah, he's trying to give uh, give Ryu in this game another shot. He's been trying some uh, Ridley. He's been trying some Cloud. Yeah. Playing a cute few other characters. Yeah, no one loves Ridley. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna rock it out with the World Warrior, and so far it's looking pretty good. Tries to call him up with the forward smash, but uh, yeah, Snow's gonna land with that back here. Yeah, jumps really over good. him and and stuffs him. Crosses good punish. Yeah. Whoa, that the multi hit. Through. Yep. Multi hit Shoryuken gets two hits, so he isn't able to armor it. All right, now Locus with his patented damage racking, building up a lot of damage. And he is so fearless when it comes to Shoryuken. He'll <laughs> he just, just throw it just out. Throws it. Yeah, he, calls, yeah. he calls you out. He like he's one of the best there is at like making you have to fear his Shoryuken. Because you you there's like no situation where you can be near him and think he's not going to Shoryuken. Yeah. He gets one hit, like the only thing in your mind is, oh crap, he's gonna destroy you. Yeah, and you have to play around it constantly, otherwise <laughs> you'll get big to punish destroy for it. Yeah, he whips that Shoryuken nice. and Snow is ready for the focus to up be punish. That's a that's a nice string actually, jab one, that jab one two into Shoryuken, is that it? Uh, I'm not sure. It looked like it, it, fit, it felt like I, it. I think I think it was actually off of a focus attack, and, and then he might have done jabs to lead into it before, yeah. but honestly I missed it. Yeah, Ken, but here Ken's, we go. Ken's combo game mm. into like, I feel like the difference between those two is Ken has like a much larger combo combo game, especially when it comes to Tatsu. Yes, Tatsu's a really good combo starter and extender. It doesn't have very much legs, so you can get a lot of follow-ups off of it. Yeah, that's like a main difference between those two besides their... Oh! Ooh, nice dash smash. away forward smash there, and Snow nice. takes the first game. Yes, as I was saying, it was uh, the difference between Ken and Ryu is uh, Ryu uses his Tatsumakis as like a combo ender. Yeah. Whereas like 
Ken is like a, it's not really a starter, it's more of like an extender. That's yeah. usually how you do it in the actual Street Fighter as well. So yep. it's kind of, it's kind of Sakura and Nintendo paying homage to the Capcom roots it's, there. It's really nice to yeah. see how they, how they like, give those throwbacks to those old, yeah. to the games, to the source material, right? Yeah. It's That's like, what they're doing. It's like, you gotta have that if you're also gonna have the, the flaming shor shorikens, right? Like, yeah, of course. <laughs> Alright, let's see, are they gonna stick to the diddle? Nope. Oh no. He is going to switch to Ridley. Okay, so it was a fun first game, but we're here to win. Yeah, we're here to win after all. You know, this this uh, is officially counting for the BC Elo. That's now. true. BC so, Elo just being announced. It's going to be tracked for all paid weeklies and other events, true, so including SFU Tuesday. SFU Tuesday before it was not in Smash 4, but now it is. It's yep. New game, new, uh, <laughs> new game. New game, new me. <laughs> yeah, new game, you know? new all of us. <laughs> but that focus nice is going to eat through. Yeah, that's going to do. Gets a, gets, gets a little bit of damage off of it, not too much, honestly. Here comes the edge guard. I think that gets really scary when you're at higher percents. Like, you don't want to get killed by a focus when you can just run up and sure you can use Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. So it gets a down throw, which put, places him perfectly on the platform. Yeah, he wasn't, wasn't able to attack the platform there, so it kind of opened up to a potential setup, but he kind of whips it there. Yeah, just kind of keep him off the edge with the Hadoukens. Snow just kind of threatening him. Yeah, they were both kind of like just warily spacing each other for a while there. And yeah. then Locus interrupts the pace by just running in and nearing and is able to take the stage from that. Locus has still pressing the now. advantage. Harassing with fireballs. So good. Yep. Tilt into. Yeah, trying to threaten that with the up airs. Yep. Keep him moving. Ooh, Ooh, he's ro yeah, rolls up, rolls out of the up B, and then he catches the landing with the dash attack. Dash attack so strong too. It's such an honest fight. It's, I feel it's an honest. Oh, <laughs> that's a call out. Snow <laughs> just, Snow <laughs> just jumped up there. Upper, yeah, you may have the wings, but I got fire, man. I'm coming yeah. for you. Oh, he tries. Yeah, he could have probably done, gone for like a more direct aerial combo off of that, but he instead opts to try to read, like hard read the landing with a harder, heavier punish. Locus gets to juggle. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Under two percent. What can he? Okay. Oh yeah, that's not a good situation. He had to. Snow had to like wait out the focus as long as he could, but Locus just with that Locus, Locus with that lose. extra long charge time. Locus can just literally just for sit it. under there. I mean, he's going to shark him, so like... Yep. Like, yeah, I got all day. Oh, he gets a jab this? block into a down tilt into the, the forwarder misses slightly, but he still has such a strong lead from his. Oh, it's so awesome. That's a jab block. Oh, he tries for the... Now. Tries for the side... Or, wait, that, that's down me, sorry. My bad. But the, the super hard call-out move... Focus threatening stage control now. Or it's Fireball tilting, edge tilting. Oh, And he has no jump, fall. so he's dead. And that is going to be a game three for this set. Yeah, good on Locust to bring that back uh, after the losing the Street Fighter ditto. Yep. Yeah, the the first the first stock of that last match is pretty even, but um, mm -hmm. Locust's damage output on the second stock once he was able to get that stage control and really like put Snow on like on the on the line, mm. like, he he just extended his lead and kept it going and going and going and it just spiraled out of control. It's kind of snowballed, you know? Yeah, it's, uh, it did. Threatening it that did stage snowball. <laughs> that was, that was I mean, that wasn't even intentional. I had no, I had no plan. <laughs> I had no plan for that. We all love snow puns. So we got the stage striking process. Oh, we're going to see Smashville. Might see them uh, stick with their characters, but the characters yeah, might stay Ridley, because he did win with it. He did win with Ridley, yeah, so Loki's going to stick with it, and Snow has been more of a char character loyalist in this game than he has been in the past. Uh, Smash 4 Snow would have expected to go random, like, pick different characters each game. So the thing with character loyalty is it's really risky to, like, solo main a character in this game. But it's also risky to switch off all the time. That's well. also true. Like, like, and then ev every time you pick one character, you're not sure if you did it. You made the wrong decision. I'm sorry, I missed the transition there. No problem. I see a nice, uh, I believe that's, uh, feels like that's for I'm not quite sure, so I can't really speak on that. Yeah. That's the thing with Ken, his moves are different. They don't, it, yeah. feel, they don't feel like forward air, up air. Right? Yeah, they're, they're a little bit different. His, he sticks his foot high, right? So you want to yeah. say it's up air, but. He's got fireballs. It's yeah, hard fireball for hard to get around this. He tries to go high with the with the Tatsu, but oh, it gets lose. stuffed anyway. This distance of fireball looks so tough, but he nice punish from Snow. Finally finds the, his way in. Stood here, couldn't yeah. quite mash that out. Drags him all the way across the stage. That mash actually apparently uh, dependent on the difference between each character's percent, yes. not necessarily just the victim's percent. Yeah, that's very true. 
I believe one being at like 129 is going to make it really hard oh. to show that one. Locust, re Locust went for for a hard uh, hard read there. He, I think he was trying to cover. If Snow had rolled away from him, then that that down B would have connected. But Snow just did a neutral get up, and instead he was stuck in leg and did a lot of damage for it. A, sorry, ate a kill for it. Hmm. Locust threatening. With Got, those, with those four tilts. He's camped out underneath that Smashville platform now, but he goes for the dash grab to try to take control and loses it. Ooh, nice flash there. That neutral air hitbox is so big. Good stuff there. Snow has control. Both of these characters seem to have a lot like trouble getting nice, off the ledge. Nice step dodge there. Yeah, that was really clutch. Oh, Ooh, forward tilt yep. yep, I like that. That's definitely going to kill right there. Yeah, at the ledge at 140. It, se it seemed like the, the amount of, like, the, the speed he kind of flew made it seem like he wasn't going to kill, but that move is definitely a move that you don't want to, like, forget. Oh, yeah, um, absolutely. High threat. His Ridley's tail in general is a high threat. Oh, Ooh, that, that was so close hit. to landing. If he was just a tiny bit closer, that would have worked. Yeah, I've got to mash that. Yep. It's the... Really special with the fireballs. Try to be down there. Uh, down throw forward air. He's gonna oh, he oh gets that reversal control. back air. Well, tries to go for the second one. The second one probably would have killed because he had to use his jump just to get that there. But he recovers high and Snow punishes with a down smash. Last stock of this of this set. Can't believe Snow almost gave up stage control for that. That could have been really bad if it went wrong. But yeah. luckily, he does manage to clean up the stock, but he still has a lot of work to do. Locust holding onto the shield for that uh, aerial cancel into Shoryuken. Good call. Gets not clipped, and that back air is going to do it. So Snow. Locust. We're talking about focus a little bit. Yeah, um, beat out Ken's focus. Yep. Interesting stuff. Yeah. So Locus moves on. I believe he's in winner's quarters. I don't remember whether that round, was winner's quarters or not. Three, unless he got the buy. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm not very, sure. It, it was. It was. It was. It was a nice set. Yep. It was just. The, it was just the the range factor that Ridley has and the threatening edge guarding with not actually edge guarding with the fireballs. It's it's such a huge threat that you have to take into account. Especially yeah. When you're definitely. Something with Ken. It's can, so like, hard for for Ken to get off the ledge. It looks